Hi guys, I'm Ian Summers, Spectacular Builds on Instagram, and here are my here's my display for at Brick Rodeo. So here's the retro collection, a lot of cool retro builds. The Polaroid over here, I made it so you can, and then you can take out the picture. Little sunset. And here's a one by four indent that made it look really cool. Some indents here, and it just has a tray in the inside that you put the picture on. It has a one by four with like teeth gear with this in the inside, and it's pretty simple, to, but it gets the job done. Functionality is great. I also love the color striping there. Thank you, yeah, and it's, it's, it's solid too. <laughs> so here's the stack TV. It's a little uh, cassette tape on the top. And that's cool because you can actually switch it out with this one. Here's a Walkman, and I'll just unplug these headphones here. You can open and close the door and you can take the cassette tapes out and switch them out. And I use Thor's hammer for like the buttons. And uh, this is actually a Lego sticker. It came from like a Jedi Interceptor and I cut into a square and used it as like a little thing. I'd love to see some good sticker customization on Bill. For sure. <laughs> it just plugs in there. And so and then this is the record player. My sister has this exact one, so I cut this sticker is from the actual record player, and I cut it to make it look like the name. And I cu cut the, that's actually the caution <laughs> tape from the actual record player. And I use a bunch of one by ones to get that job done. This sticker is from um, the typewriter. Okay. And I use minifig torsos as the legs. Whoa, that's awesome. <laughs> torsos as the legs, that kind of came out weird. <laughs> Those one by ones are so great for kind yeah, of like the speaker you. cover. Yeah, and these are some hats, little knobs, and uh, this can move. That dragon piece worked out perfectly for the to get that nice like angle. Mm -hmm. You can just move it back. Pretty proud of that one. This one's an alarm clock, and I use uh, baker's hats for like the little thing. It's pretty cool, and I use the Lego rope to go across, to make it look like it's like the digital. The, the color choice is so good there as well. Very retro feeling. All those pieces are from the typewriter, so I just like, <laughs> sorry, typewriter. One retro build to another. And then this is the film camera. I use a tow truck piece for the crank. You can actually look through it. And a trash can. And the Fiat, the Fiat piece look, worked out perfectly. And here's Baymax. This is another weird thing to say, but I use minifig hands as the fingers. Hands as the fingers. <laughs> I like the, the like statue feels very different than a lot yeah. of the other stuff here. Yeah, like to mix it up. And then here's the Among Us switch. It's detailed on the bottom. It has a stand. And all for the all the Nintendo fans, this does break off easily, just like the real thing. <laughs> You got you to choose the next uh, newest, hottest game for to, to put in there now. For sure. Yeah, Among <laughs> Us is kind of dying. And then here's a DVD player. And this is Lego. Zoom in. It says Lego on the DVD. So it, it technically Lego made it. And um, I used a snot brick upside down. It looked like the, the USB, which worked out perfectly. And uh, this controller, I used a hand for like the Netflix button. And it worked out pretty well. The shaping is so perfect oh, on that you. controller. Thank you. Yeah, really appreciate that. And the the Blu-ray Blu case there as well. Yeah, and um, this piece that folds down, it's actually connected to this tray, but it looks like it's connected using these pieces, which um, I'm I like the way that turned out because it looks like it's coming out using these, but it's just an illusion because it's actually connected to this. Yeah. And then here's the keytar. You jam out. The, that print came from the, the bookstore, so the librarian's a secret rocker. So, um, yeah, I, I like the red, how it, uh, it's very, like, 80s, you know? Right, right. Here's the buffering laptop. Beyond the Bricks' worst nightmare and all their fans. <laughs> <laughs> we apologize to any viewers who've had to deal with that while yeah. watching our videos. Yeah. It's, it's terrible. And it has the charger that wraps around. I love all the detailing with like even the bottom yeah, the section. Ad, the little ad in the bottom. <laughs> and then the views. 
The views trying to get that like circle, like little like. Yeah. And even has the little FaceTime camera on the top. And then the next one is the, I love, uh, someone commented on the post and I took that and made it the caption, who let go of the Wii remote. <laughs> So this was something, yeah, we featured last year that was so so mesmerizing, just like instant, instantly, instantly yeah. relatable. I did make some changes to it, so I made it so it's more like structurally sound. I did the charging port there, okay. and I did this uh, little horn piece to make it look like it's like you know how the real thing is, how you can like extend it to fit your wrist. It just sits in there. <laughs> and All those trans clear pieces oh, are so yeah. great. Thank you, and it's coming out. Everybody's like, that's what my son did. And the son just walks away. And then this comes out. And just sits in there. And then this next build is from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It's the shrinking machine. And I put the tiny, the tiny Wii because it shrunk the, the big one. This was a really fun build to do. Solinsky is like, he is, he's, a, he's a genius. So it was really cool to like, you could put pretty much whatever pieces you want because um, he's like, the way he built the, the shrinker, it was just like, it just worked out perfect for Lego. So you got like the helmet from Star Wars in there, you got a little camera, you got a whip. Um, Almost yeah. like a steampunk vibe yeah, with those gold pieces. Yeah, and then this rubber band at the end. Oh, and um, these wheels at the bottom worked out really well because it looks like those like where they scoot, like, because right. if you turn around, it's like hollow. So that turned out nicely. One of them is probably a little off, so it yeah. like leans to the yeah. right. <laughs> Just like the real thing, those grocery carts. So um, this is the Barbasol can from Jurassic Park, Dennis Nedry's. And uh, it's really cool because you, you can actually put it inside and smuggle some dinosaur DNA, you know? You just take it out like that. The functionality is very important there. Yeah, thank you, thank you. And so then this next one, I had way too much fun doing this. Um, I was inspired by when you're vacuuming, you pick up the Legos, you're just like, what would it be like to be a minifigure and to see a vacuum chasing you? Like, it's like literally a tornado on wheels. So like, I wanted to build it from a minifigure's perspective. So there's a lot of cool piece usage on this too. That's an upside down light brick Whoa. that I use and it just, it, this piece just sits in there so it won't move like that. And then this is a dolly piece, and it just sits like that. And it looks like the where you wrap the cord. Yeah. And then this piece back here, it's one of those, uh, you make the minifigures jump when you push down, okay. and they, they uh, spring. It's like the DC, I think, it came out in. And then these are uh, minifigure legs, which I thought was ironic, because it's like made out of <laughs> minifigure body parts, this like torture machine. Very meta here. Yeah. <laughs> And um, there's Han Solo in there. He's like still frozen from the 70s. <laughs> no, he couldn't escape. And um, there's skeletons and heads and bones and there's a spider web. It's just, oh, and that guy, he got sucked up and so his legs are coming off, coming through the top. Yeah, it's like a Power Miners type wheel. Yeah, well that came from um, the pod racing set. Oh, okay. Pod racing set, yeah. And if you look over here, there's the old brick separator, which is funny because it's like, Legos hate that, you know? So. <laughs> So yeah, and then over here we have Miss Minutes from the TV show Loki. This was a challenging build because it's like a character, it's orange and it's round, which is like everybody's worst nightmare. Um, but I liked how I used the vine piece for like, to make it look like her knees kind of like bending a little bit. So that, that turned out pretty well in her hand, how she's like the thumbs up, you know? The posability is amazing there. Yeah, thank you, I really appreciate that. And then over here, um, I got my braces off recently, so I wanted to build this for my orthodontist. Shout out Dr. Colville. Um, so this will actually be in his office, and uh, he, he, was, he loved it. So, And I used a bunch of rubber bands and just uh, put it like, like uh, in between the clips okay. and stuff, and then put the bar just to hold it sure. there. And actually, it, it worked out. I love a build with a personal connection like yeah, that. Yeah, and um, I always got white rubber bands, so <laughs> it was appropriate for... And then over here, there's a flower painting that I made for my mom for her birthday. She let me display it. Uh, I used a lot of cool, like, there's the hot dog, please, a spear. And then when you get to the top, you kind of, you know, how you run out of ink, so it's like rope and it gets thinner. So it's like, it's like one stroke painting. <laughs> what a great detail there. Yeah, thank that's you. so perfect. Thank Using you. those little, those smaller rope pieces. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. And then over here, 
this is this can, can be somewhat disturbing. These these are uh, nail clippers with some nails, and uh, I was inspired because I was looking through my Lego bins and I saw one on the ground. I was like, "Who left a toenail on the ground?" And I'm like, "Wait, that's actually part of my Lego collection. I gotta build nail clippers." So there's all sorts of situations I'm sure you find yourself in that inspire these types of builds. Oh yeah, for sure. It's it's mostly the piece first, then because when I saw that, it reminded me of the Dyson like. Okay. So then I was, I built this first, yeah. and then everything kind of just flows together. And You've got a few more things if we, if we keep moving down here a little bit. Yeah. Over here is a, a Hershey bar. Uh, some kid took a bite out of it. I'm kind of mad about that. Um, this is Mo from Wally, foreign contaminant. He, he hates dirt. So this was pretty challenging because his head is so large in his body, and he's only on those little like little wheel thing. So I had to um, figure out a way to keep them positioned upwards. And uh, in that pod racing set that I mentioned earlier, it came with a clear tr uh, trans like handle and it's actually keeping his head up, but you don't really notice it. Okay. So it's like, that was a great piece to use. And then this is like garage, garage panels. The old like fire station type piece. And then these are hats from like the, the artist, the Lego artist. <laughs> And then Hero Factory on the side, because it looks similar to the Wally -E, like logo, like that, the ship. Then on the back, that's where all the dirt goes. And so, if you notice back here, there's a light bluish gray axle that's keeping him upwards. So that's how I was able to keep him, because he's so he's such like a large robot for such a small little, you know. Right. The weight, I'm sure, is very weird yes, there. Yeah. And then over here we have making breakfast. And I use gears for like the little cereal. Uh, and then there's toast there. And then this might come disturbing, but uh, it's a minifigure head. You just pop it in there. It looks like orange juice. And then there's a spoon. That's the same piece I use for the wheel on the Honey I Shrunk the Kids. So it worked out there too. I love the white horn for the milk pour now. Yeah, it looks like it's pouring, yeah. So this is Boo's Door from Monsters, Inc. It has the little scream thing going up with the red. There's a hot dog to like for the tubes. Um, I like to I uh, use silver pieces from the typewriter, and these ingot pieces are like where they press the door in. And uh, yeah, I like the caution tape that I used. It, it, I like the gray kind of laying over the yellow yeah, there. Yeah, it gives that like trying good shaping, you know. And then this is uh, Aragorn sword from Shards of Narsil from Lord of the Rings. And uh, it's, I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan, so it was really fun to build this and get all the different broken pieces to scale and make it as accurate as possible. Does that crumble apart whenever you bring this dash out? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I bring, it, I bring it as one piece, and then it just falls apart, but I guess it works out. And then this is Thor's hammer. I use barrels, and like it, it's a beam, so it, it runs through. The axle runs through the beams. That structural integrity. And then the chain, make good texture. This came from an old Star Wars set. And it's in the rocks too, which is cool. And then this last one is Jumanji. And last year, everyone's like, does it open, does it open? And I was like, no, I, I just used the excuse, like we shouldn't open it, but it didn't really have anything in the inside. So this year, I finally put it inside. So it's really cool, there's dice. And these were like the little statues you put in. It's old Exo Force. I was gonna say shout out to Exo Force. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, this was a really fun build to do. And all the leaves to get that design. Uh, this gold piece in the middle was really cool. It just sticks in there. You know, you just flip it back over. Oh, and um, the so I didn't break any Lego, but you know how brown's br brittle. Yeah. So all the broken brown pieces I use for the edges to make it all look roughed up and give it texture. Oh my goodness, that's perfect, yeah. yeah. So very naturally yeah. broken. <laughs> so, but I didn't break any. That was just from my collection that were broken. So you've got an amazing array of builds here, so much great Thank stuff. You. you mentioned the typewriter a few times in terms of using pieces from yeah. that. Do you look at new sets a lot and think that piece would be useful? Yes. I hate to say it, but um, my sister, I'm like, I deter her to get sets for Christmas that I know that I would like. <laughs> and I'm like, this typewriter, it's an amazing set. But I was like, you got to get this because all the, you know, the green and stuff. Yeah. 
And so she's like, okay, I'll get it. And then like two months later, I'm building all these retro stuff. And she's like, where'd my typewriter go? Well, it multiplied into four more mocks. <laughs> so yeah, it definitely deters the, it definitely is the pieces. I see the pieces first and then I go from there. Yeah. And you've got such a great variety. So you've got like pop culture, you've got retro, so you kind of dabble in a lot of different yeah, types of builds. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I like to see like retro stuff, people, things that people recognize, video games, things that are funny too, like the vacuum or the loading laptop, the Wii, just like brings back good memories of like, or bad memories for some people. <laughs> so, so with such a variety here, what, what do you have planned for the future in terms of maybe other builds or other ideas you have you want to tackle? I'm going to leave that up to the next Beyond the Brick video because okay. <laughs> I don't know yet. I love a good teaser. you got to yeah. keep people coming back. Yep. For sure. Perfect. Well, great work here. Thanks for taking us through all these builds. It's spectacular. Glad you could make it back out. Thanks for uh, interviewing me.